Leo's What's Goody in the Hoodie. It's your favorite girl here, Miss Hawaii. How are you doing? How are you feeling? I missed you. I was like, oh shoot, it's time for a Leo reading. I'm overdue. <laughs> What's going on, Leos? Let me hear you roar, babies. Welcome to your general love reading for October 7th of 2024. It's good to see all of you. I hope all is well with you, your loved ones, and your pets. And I want to welcome you all to Miss Hawaii Tarot. If it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're coming back, you a real one. You already know. What's going on with my Leos in love? What's happening? New boo. Ooh, first card out. New boo. Okay, Leo. Show out. Somebody got some pretty curly hair. Blocked. <laughs> Spam call text. Who you blocked? Not on the spam list. Karmic lesson. Mary tried to pop out. Some of y'all, the new person already thinking about marriage with you. You got karma again. Drama, karma, endings, loss, mental breakdown, firestorm. That's a Leo card right there. What happened? Somebody was a karmic lesson. You could have blocked this person. Heartbreak. Moving on, letting go, loving you and free with love, hate on the bottom. So yeah, sex addiction, spiritual warfare, chaos, ego, death, downward spiral, spiritual awakening, love child. So uh, there's something here about bananas. Let me know if that resonates. <sighs> yeah, there was some, some type of situation you went through with someone here. It was like a karmic lesson for you. There could have been a lot of drama, heartbreak, but I feel like you're moving on, letting go and focusing on you and loving you, not letting this hold you down. Um, I feel like some of you, there was some type of love hate connection with someone, but I do see a new boo here. Either you're manifesting this or some of you could be talking to somebody new. Okay. Um, cool. Cool. Cool, dude. I mean, well, it's not cool that you had to go through all of that, but I like cool as far as manifesting a new boo. What else we got for Leo? Triggered. Jealousy. Mm -mm. Discovery. You got, a, you got a lot of people jealous of you. They triggered by you. Misunderstanding. A lot of people misunderstand you, Leo. Silence. Dark night of the soul and mirror. Mm. Some of you guys went through a dark night of the soul journey. Oh, that's tough. That is tough. Somebody feel like you went silent on you, on them. You do have a lot of people jealous of you. Um, that's been coming out a lot in your, your readings lately, like jealousy. Um, you do have discovery. So I feel like you're learning a lot about yourself, about life. You're discovering a lot. Some of you discovering more with your spirituality. You got the mirror here. So that's you really looking at yourself, really evaluating yourself, doing a lot of self introspection, mixed messages, ego. People are really triggered by you for some reason. Mm -mm. People be tripping. My place got so smoky. I don't know if you guys can see it because the sage started like burning crazy. I had to crack the dough and everything. Fire alarm went off. Smoke alarm. I'm like, oh my God. 
but I got it under control. I kind of like when it gets all smoked out in here. Then I crack the door and air out the complex. Let them get some of that sage too, right? Cleanse everybody up out of this bitch. <laughs> what else is going on, Leo? The Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you definitely are in this free energy for wands. Cool. Some of y'all got a new place, new house, or you're celebrating some type of major milestone. Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands, a lot of Wands, fire energy. Wands, that's messages. Eight of Wands, that's communication. The Magician in reverse. Ooh, who's that? The Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Two of Cups in reverse. The Page of Swords. Who's spying on you? Overall energy of the Knight of Cups in reverse. Somebody in their feelings over you. They're emotional. Emotional. That's my song. I'm emotional. Carl Thomas, right? And Faith Evans. It could be a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio person. You also have Gemini here, heavy Gemini, Aquarius, Lim Libra. I was about to say lemonade. What the hell? Somebody drinking lemonade? Let me get some. I love me some strawberry lemonade. Uh-huh, mango lemonade. Hey, you lied to me. What's the eight of swords in reverse? Make sure y'all hit that like button. You lied to me. Yeah, whoever you was dealing with, um, this situation was very stressful. A lot of anxiety behind this person. Even though you did love this person a lot, some of y'all just felt like you and this person just kept going in circles. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio again. What's the four wands? Once again, the sun. Yeah, there's there's some some type of big thing coming in for you. Something you manifested with the magician on the bottom. Some type of, either it's an apartment, a new house, but it can also be, like I said, some type of major milestone. Some of y'all has to do with your money, your finances. Something is coming in that you manifested and it's something big. So congratulations ahead of time. You manifested it. The sun is here. It's going to make you really happy, Leo. Yay. What's the Ten of Wands? <sighs> Whoever this, who is this person? Whoever this person is, they coming up again as the Knight of Cups in reverse. Whoever this is, they and they feelings over you. Lovers in reverse. It feel like an ex. Past lover. And it has something to do with you being the king of wands. You looking good, uh, going after your goals. It's like stressing them out with the 10 of wands. It's very hard for some ex past lover to watch you moving forward. What's the eight of wands? What's all this communication? The seven of cups. You got options in love. Some of y'all got a lot of people trying to talk to y'all with the seven of cups. I mean, if it, even if it's not love options, it could be options in regards to something else, maybe with career, you know what I mean? Things like that. But for a lot of you, this is love. You got the 10 of wands again. Again. Some of y'all are really busy. Like you got other stuff going on in life and you might find it hard to kind of like Maybe make time for love and career it might be really hard. A lot of fast moving energy. Mm. There's somebody in your friend group you need to be careful of. I don't know who this is for. Maybe that's why you got the jealousy card. Could be a Scorpio. 
I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of there's somebody, there's somebody in your friend group that's manipulative and you can't trust them. That's what it's telling me. It's somebody from your past, like a friend you've known for a long time. Tell me more about this person. Yeah, you can't trust them. They might even act like they all into spirituality like you too, and they really not. The Six of Swords. Yeah, there's somebody in your friend group you're going to have to distance yourself from, Leo. Mm -hmm. They might think they're like all spiritual and they might act like, oh, I do eat them, Bella, and I get all these spiritual. They don't get shit. They are fake. Some of y'all, maybe they even read cards. I don't know. Or they think they're reading cards. They ain't reading shit. <laughs> What's the Six of Pentacles in reverse? You got people spying on you from fake accounts, people you've distanced yourself from, people that you no longer give your energy to. They gossiping a lot about you, trying to figure out what you're doing, what you're spending money on. Some of y'all, they trying to figure out about your health. Yeah, even people like exes of yours. Yeah. Some of you, you had to stop giving your energy to certain people because you feel like, and you feel better behind it. Like, Taurus energy. What's the two of cups in reverse? Mm. There's some past lover, the ace of wands. There's some like past lover that's feeling like really alone without you. They're seeing you as this empress. So they're seeing you as like looking good, doing good. And they're like down and out. They could even be having money problems. They might feel like you're talking to somebody new and that makes them feel like left out. Who is this other person spying on you? Queen of Wands. You got a lot of people up in your business. People you stop talking to, ex-lovers and people you don't talk to no more. People you've let go of. And it's something about people watching your money, like what you spending your money on. Who is this emotional person? If you're currently dealing with somebody, they could be uh, whoever you're like currently dealing with. They could be a little bit like, like too emotional or something over you. They might think that you're talking to other people. With the two of pentacles and the page of wands and the two of swords and the fool. <laughs> yeah. If you're talking to somebody like currently or even somebody new, especially if they're a water sign, this person is really emotional about you. And they, it, it, it's something about it being in their head that like you're talking to other people or something like that. And it bothers them. They try to block it out, but it's like there's something about them feeling like, I don't know, some of you Leos, you are very like friendly. And this person may not like that. <laughs> like y'all don't even be flirting, but sometimes some people could take it as flirting. And you really don't be like, you do have a lot of jealousy, I'm telling you. Yeah, because look, queen of pentacles in reverse, queen of wands, emperor in reverse, lovers in reverse again. You definitely have a lot of past lovers feeling a certain type of way. Some of y'all got like a jealous baby mama, baby daddy with this Aries here or Emperor in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. There's also, there's somebody in your friend circle you need to be careful of. Because this person, with you coming out as the Queen of Wands, whether you male or female, it's like all eyes on you. So I don't know if when you go out with this person, nobody don't be looking at them and they be looking at you. Or maybe you get just, a lot of people wanting to engage with you and that bothers, you know, them like whoever it is, they're insecure. They're very insecure. Mm. 
All right, Leo, let's see what's happening in your love life in the future. I feel like that was such a short reading. That was so quick. We're going to go into the extended now. If you feel like this reading has been resonating, then I would love to see you in the extended reading where we go more in depth and we see what's happening in your love life in the future. What you can expect. We pull Oracle, we pull Tarot and we get you advice. All right, Leos. So if you want to join me, like I said, the link is below in the description box. I hope to see you there. But if not, thank you for tuning in. I love you. Make sure you guys email Miss Hawaii readings at gmail.com if you want a personal reading and um, make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok. My name on there is Miss Hawaii Tarot. So definitely show love on there. And um, if you want to become a member of the channel or you would like to join my astrology Patreon, you will also find information about that in the description box. If you're a member of the channel, you get access to bonus readings every week. Okay. And if you join my astrology Patreon, you get access to what I talk about over on Patreon, which is all about astrology. All right. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of videos over there. So check it out. If you want to know about your rising, your moon, your Venus, all that good stuff, your birth chart, my astrology Patreon is where you should be. Okay. So I love you, Leos. I'll see you guys in the extended reading. If not, I'll catch you on the next one. Be blessed. Be well. Thanks for tuning in. I'm praying for you always, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.